Hi, David. What's happening? I am live with David Banner, and we just finished filming in lead-ins, actually, to the last time film that will be airing on ABFF Independent. And David, I'm so excited that you had the opportunity to discuss the last time film and the importance just of domestic violence and the things that we should be doing within our community, especially within the African American community. Well, I, I just think that it's really important, and so many things have happened to so many different people, especially our people, um, the descendants of Africans, and a lot of a, a lot of our pain uh, is just buried um, in misinformation. Right. Um, and in some cases, just flat out lies. Right. And then, you know, the effect that it has on us, because sometimes those things can be um, something that embarrasses us, that we have a tendency to internalize it and bury it somewhere deep. Right. I was just proud of the fact that you took, you know, your money, your time, and the opportunity that you could have done anything and faced a problem like that head on. Because a, a lot of people cower, especially when... You know, it, it has affected them personally. Right. You know, right. Um, you know, depression was one of the things for me. You know, as a man, we're, we're always taught to to you know pull yourself up by man your bootstraps up, right. or man up or whatever the situation may end up being. Um, we end we end up masking a much bigger problem. Right. You know, and that can you know uh, turn into violence or sickness or whatever it may end up being. You know, I was just proud that you decided to, you know, because like they say, is, is the cup half full or half empty? And I, I believe you took this opportunity to show people that it's definitely half full. And I, I appreciate it. That's why you are so amazing. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> David is important. He's getting phone calls. But he took the time out to come on Facebook Live. And I really appreciate that. And one of the things that I'll remember about today is your mm -hmm. spirit. Mm -hmm. And also, you taught me something because I say a lot that I'm humble. Mm -hmm. And you said we're not humble. We're what? Oh, no, no, we're no. We're grateful. Yeah. I, watch grateful. Tell, I tell people that hum <laughs> being humble is for slaves. Right. You know, I believe that our people are direct descendants of God. And, and, and if you truly believe that another God wouldn't stop another God from shining. Right. You know, I'm, I'm happy that you shine and I want to do whatever it takes in order to lift you. So that was the reason why, you know, behind scenes I asked her, I was like, you know, what's the goal? What are you trying to show the people with this film? And I'll do whatever I can to make sure that that message is conveyed. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not humble at all. Especially in the South, we're always taught to to muffle our spirit mm -hmm. when other people uh, treat us bad. Right. And I, I just refuse to be that way. And you guys, anybody that's hearing me, make sure that you go and buy my album. Yes. My album was number one rap album. And he let me listen to <laughs> Magnolia. Right, Magnolia. Which I need is my favorite because I have to listen to the rest of the album. But right now, <laughs> it, that's my favorite one. <laughs> well, well it's, it's funny because we, ha we, and I started to bring that up in the interview but Aspire has let me uh, have so many shameless plugs for my <laughs> album that I said that I, I, I didn't want to interrupt the message that you were giving um, by trying to promote myself. But mm -hmm. I have a song on my album that's called Marry Me. And the reason why I, I decided to make that song, because in so many cases, we have turned our back on each other, especially as it pertains uh, to misogyny right. in America. And I believe what happened to the descendants of Africans is that we looked at how other races of people who were, who had oppressed us treated their women, and I think we adopted that mm. sickness. And, you know, me growing smarter and becoming more conscious, I, I felt like it was my responsibility, you know, to sort of step up and tell our women, black women, that... Um, Historically, I have because I can't really talk about other rappers right. because we don't know, you know, whether they had those fathers or those mothers, or we don't know what happened to them that drove them, you know, exactly. to certain things happening. So I just wanted to take that opportunity to apologize and to sort of help mend that relationship between um, black men and black women. Right. Um, so, you know, y'all make sure y'all go and buy the guy. Yes, it was dope. definitely. And I want to tell y'all something. Give me the phone. <laughs> Taking over. She did so so well that I think they were on the side. Like maybe next season we might need a new host. <laughs> I'll come back with you, co-host. I would never steal your show, but I will share. But see, that's why I just told you I wouldn't stop your shine, baby. And you better, you can have it. That means it wasn't for me. Yo, Claudia, come tell her who you are, bro. Yeah. Well, it's Staten Junior, aka Claudia Boy. 
Undefeated professional boxer, my big bro David, and this lovely, lovely. Thank you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to coming to see him as well. Yeah, you're yeah. only gonna be there for about 60 seconds because I'm getting him out of here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all the time, right? <laughs> so, in, in saying that, you guys, um, just make sure that y'all continue to support Tiffany because, you know, they're ready for you. huh? They're ready for oh, you. I'll be all right. Um, <laughs> the thing is, is that. We complain about there not being any positive images on television, but when we do get the opportunity, you know, similar to my album, The God Box, people say they want better music. Well, now it's here. Do you support? So I just, I just think it's very important for people to surround her to make sure that she feels confident because a lot of times when you step into areas that are unfamiliar or you step onto unfamiliar waters, you know, sometimes that's it's hard to navigate and you need to make sure that... um that you have people around you sort of cheerleading y'all. So y'all make sure y'all protect Support her. Support me. I appreciate it. Support her. Yeah. And <laughs> we'll see you next time on ABFF. Independent. Oh, oh y'all see that? Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>